G'day folks, just lately a few people have been asking me, hey Robbie, when are you going to go fly fishing? You should go fly fishing more or do more fly fishing. Well folks, today I've come up in one of my favourite small streams and I'm going lure fishing. <laughs> Right, hey folks, I'm starting off with my favourite soft plastic, the little Strike Tiger Nymph in black and gold colour. Now, I will be going fly fishing soon. I do, lo I do love fly fishing, but I've got to be, I've got to do it when I want to do it, not when people tell me I should do it. So, probably pretty soon I'll see a few more fish rising, and I'll be thinking I really need to get the fly right out. So, stay tuned because I uh, just about guaranteed that I will be fly fishing soon. But today I just want to go lure fishing. I'm giving myself the best chance of catching a fish. I'm in a stream that I know has got quite a lot of fish. I fished well last year. I'm using my favourite lure. Can't fail, surely. <laughs> right now, I'm going through there. But if it gets too tough, dun da da. <laughs> Smells very nice here. I reckon it must be this tree here. It's got these little flowers on it. When I'm in these really small streams, I prefer to fish these nymphs, strike tiger nymphs with the claws removed. Just to make them that little bit more, uh, smaller and more subtle. Fish just rose right there in front of me. That's going to come straight over top of it. Here he comes. I can see the waves. Look, look, look at the waves. Take it. Got him. Oh, I missed him. Pugger. It wasn't a bad sized trout either. Now that's a very good sign because I've only been here a couple of minutes and I've already had one fish hit my lure. Here comes another one. Here comes another one. No, you turned. Yeah, he's back. He's back. You hit it again. Here's a smaller fish. There's two, two active fish in this spot. And they both hit the lure. Here comes another one. Here comes a follow. 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 You hit it. Soft hit. It was a soft hit. <laughs> they're here. They're here and they're going after it. I'm going to tighten my drag a bit because there's a fish feeding up there. Look. I'm going to tighten my drag a little bit because that first fish, when he hit, he pulled drag. Maybe if the drag had been a bit tighter, the hook might have set. He's a follow. He's a follow. Look, look at him, look at him. Following it, but not taking it. This is so exciting. This is what I love about trout fishing. Imagine if I had bought the fly rod. He's looking for follows. Follow, he hit it. He's only just hitting the tail. Imagine if I had bought the fly rod, I wouldn't have been able to get a cast in here. It would have been frustrating seeing all these trout rising and not able to actually uh, cast them. Here comes a follow. God, oh, he hit it, he hit it. Yeah, well, he wants it. Look, he's down here. He's followed it all the way down. He's under it now. He's, under, he's just he's swirling around in the shade there. Look, he's, he wants it, but he's a bit cautious. He's just gone over there. Here he comes. No, he's, he knows. He knows it's a trap. I can see a nice trout about 30 centimetres long sitting in the middle of that pool. That's going to come past him. Here he comes. Oh, he hit it. He hit it again. Didn't hit it hard enough. He was just sitting there feeding. Feeding. I could actually... I was watching him feed. He didn't come back out. Bugger. You can hear the black cockies. I love the... Oh, there they are. They're sitting in that trout there. God, I love that sound. I love those birds. They're my favourite birds. This is an ideal spot to find a trout. Beautiful trout water. Got him. Yes. So it's still about to say deep and shady. And <laughs> what a glorious spot. I've actually seen quite a few trout and I've had quite a few strikes. Finally one that's been willing to commit. All right, mate, I'll get a quick pick of you. Then I'm going to put you back. Lovely little brown trout. There you go, buddy. See you, mate. Off you go. Your beauty. Now, not only can people like me get through, but fat people can get through too. What have we got here? <laughs> A crayfish. I was going to grab him, but he took off. I don't know where he went. I've made the water go all dirty. 
I'll let my dust settle. I'll see if I can. There he goes. There, folks, look at that. Murray crayfish. I haven't got a very good grip on him here. There we go, folks, look at that. Spiny Murray crayfish. I always say that when you find these crayfish up here in these uh, these high country streams, that that's a sign of a healthy waterway. Here's a beauty. See ya, buddy. That is a sign that this waterway is quite healthy because they need good amounts of oxygen in the water to survive. Not many blackberries here, check this out. Trout fishing in Blackberry Creek. Strange, I didn't see it following there. Glorious bit of water. Got him! Oh, I missed him. Here he comes. Got him! <laughs> oh, look at that. He's still jumping. I said this to someone in the comments the other day. I've had fish let go of the lure and then keep jumping up to over a dozen times. I can still see the fish. He's sitting in the middle of the creek there. He jumped. He spat the hook. The hook ended up over here on a blackberry. And then he still jumped a couple of times. And now he's just sitting there in the middle of the creek. Look, he doesn't know what's going on. He hasn't got a damn clue. He's, he's, he's rattled. Look, I'll touch him with my rod and he'll take off. What's wrong with him? Oh, you're not even hooked, you silly fish. What's wrong with him? You're not even hooked, you silly fish. Look, he thinks he's still hooked. What's wrong with him, mate? Look, go. <laughs> I only said to someone the other day, I've had them jump out of the water after they get off thinking that they're still hooked. <laughs> and they replied and said that would be funny to see. I can't remember who said it, but I hope you watch this video. <laughs> Righto folks, the strike tiger nymph was uh, enticing a lot of fish to come out and strike. I can actually see fish swimming around while I'm standing here. The strike tiger nymph was enticing strikes, but not aggressive strikes, so I was just tapping at it. So I've swapped over to the little wild bait minnow that I caught trout on last week, because it's got the hooks at the back. So even if I just swipe it gently at the back, there might be a greater chance of a hookup. And that's landed right on top of their head. That wasn't really smart, Robert. There's one following it. Oh, that was a decent fish. I can, I can still see him. He's a good 35 centimetres or so, I reckon. Looks like there might have been a rise up here in this hole. Unless a bird dipped down. I climb over that tree and nah. Got him. Yes. Lovely brown. Ha. Guilty. Come on, buddy. Come in. Quick. I'll get a quick pick. He's not very fat. Very long and slender, this fish. Actually quite uh, thin. People say I caught a nice trout just because it's long, but trout have, it takes more than just length to make a nice size trout. You know, he's, he's a nice length trout, but he's certainly an underweight trout too, I reckon. All right, mate, there you go. Sit there, there he is. I don't know where he went. He was just sitting there in the current. You might have swam downstream, I think, instead of upstream. Rightio, folks, video over. <laughs> I've had a blast. I think I only landed two in the end, but it had stacks of strikes and follows and stacks and stacks of fun, and that's the most important part. Now, I've got to walk up that hill around that track and then way up over the top there for a couple of hundred metres. That's a lot worse than it actually looks. That is very, very steep and... Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Thanks very much for watching. If you've liked this video, why not hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.